Hi, in this tutorial, I will explain you how we can write this course of review on MS Excel. Uh, let me tell you a few things. Like we have two features in MS Excel, like macro and preview. In macro, what we can do is we can record our program and what Excel does, it always record the VBA course on the back end of macro. So if we want to enhance our skills in VBA, what we need to understand is that what is that recorded coding. So with the help of this example, I will explain step by step how we can add objects on MS Excel and what are the basic uh, syntax or the basic coding of VBA. So here you can see that I have three buttons. First is show my message when I click on this, it will give me message. And second button is when I click here, then it gives me input box where I can enter any value. And when I click OK, that value will be displayed in a highlighted cell. And third button I have used to delete the value from this highlighted cell. So if I click here, this will delete value from this cell. So when we talk about MS Excel, then this highlighted cell has address as D4. But when we talk about the VBA, then we will say like row and column cell so let me explain you step by step how we can create this kind of program so I will switch on to a new sheet new excel file where we can learn how can we develop this kind of program First thing is that we have different tabs in our Excel sheet to write any VBA program or work with macro. We should have a developer tab in our Excel 2007 file. To ensure that we have developer tab, you can click here and click on Excel option. Then here you can see that popular is one option. Within popular, we need to ensure that we have selected the show developer tab in the ribbon. Now, in this developer tab, we have different options available to work with VBA and macro. So I will click here on insert and from ActiveX control, I will select the button, drag it here, then copy the button and paste. So we have now three buttons and we can see that I have three buttons and I already selected design mode. So whenever I am selecting any button it is doing nothing. So when we double click on any button it takes me to the VBA editor screen. So let me uh, get you familiar with this screen. This is the VBA project window and this is the property window and by default as we have double clicked on button itself so this has taken me to command button 1 on click event like whatever we will write here in terms of VBA code that will be executed once we click command button. So now what I will do is for this command button 1 I will change the property so that it should look user friendly. We have one property caption one. Here I will change it to message and font I will change to bold and put. So now I can write any code here. So as this button I have created for message, I will write MSV 
box parentheses then any message like hello world then close parentheses once i hit enter formatting will be done automatically and let me minimize this window and i will click on design mode now we are out of the designing mode now I, if i click on button it will give me map so i will do the coding for this button as well for that again i need to select design mode and double click here you can see that command has taken me to write any code on the click event of command button 2 now in the property i will change the caption as take value from user and font to bold and 14 so i will write code so that i can take value from user input box any user friendly message like please enter value so up to this point what excel and vba will do it will give in input box where we can enter value now we need to store that value or fetch that value so i will write here a is equal to now our syntax or sentence is complete in vba if i hit enter then value will be taken from user by this code and this value will be stored in a now my next task is to specify or display that value on ms excel on a sheet where i will highlight any cell so let me select a cell where we want this value to be displayed suppose i select h1 let me highlight it so as I explained earlier that here we will consider only row number and column number so row number is 1 for this highlighted cell and column number is 8 so what I will write is This workbook dot worksheet within worksheet sheet name is sheet one in this workbook. Let me write sheet one. Then cells in cells. I need to check. Okay, row number is one and column number is eight. So I will write first row and then column dot value is equal to 8 let me minimize and check whether this code is working I need to get out of design mode so I will go to developer tab and let me do one more thing let me increase the size of this button and then click design mode now if I click here this is giving me input box I will write any value. Click OK. That value is being displayed here. Now our third task is to remove the value or delete the value from this cell. So again I will click on design mode then double click. Then caption I will change to delete value. font we know that how we can change the font now so what i will do here is to read to the same cell i will copy this and paste it here is equal to then two inverted commas this means the blank 
now let me check if this code is also working let me come out of design mode if i click here it is disabling value again you can click here and give any other value like 100 that will be displayed and again you can click on delete value so now we understand that how can we write a small course for any objects using VBA on MS Excel. Let me tell you few basic things which I have not discussed so far in this tutorial. The biggest object is application then comes workbook then comes worksheets then comes range or type. So for workbook, let me show you. For workbook, I have used this workbook, then dot worksheets. Within worksheet, there could be any sheet like sheet one, sheet two, or sheet three. So I have given the name of sheet like sheet one. Then a smaller object is range or cells i have used cells where row number and column number then value is equal to a a has already taken value using input value so this is how we can develop a program in vba and one more thing like we can double by clicking on design mode and double click we can go to the editor tab of vba and there is another command which can take us to the VBA window that is Alt plus F11. So these are the basic things we can keep in our mind to develop any program using VBA on MS Excel. Thank you for watching this video and listening me. See you in my next video for advanced learning of VBA.